Hello everybody, welcome back to A Slice of Gaming. I'm the only Python 4. This is Super Mario Bros. 3 from the Nintendo Entertainment System, and this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. So I'm going to be retrying this particular world here. World 3-8, which is the coin level of this game here. I came in with a fire flower, and I'm all set to go. So let's retry this level here, and hopefully I won't be eaten by that bastard I just killed right down there. So we just want to be very careful once again, make sure we get all of our power-ups, make sure we come in here with a fire flower and we'll be safe. Make sure you watch out for that fish. I'm sure he wants revenge for eating him for so long. I'm not a big fan of fish. I really just don't like the taste of it. It's very rubbery if not cooked properly. Anyways, enough about eating fish. The fish wants to eat us, but we need to get a vine right away. We can also kill the fish with a turtle shell as well as I just showed off. It's also very nice that they allowed the feature for us to be able to shoot our flowers, our uh, firepower here, while we're on the vine, so that way we can stay even safer. These fish don't stand a chance against firepower. Now, I once again, we approach this difficult part. This is where I kind of screwed up last time in the last video. We just gotta rush through it and be very patient. Make sure we get that P-switch in time as well. Excellent. Now that we cleared through that area, no problem. We can get ourselves that one up that I just lost. We can continue and end this world off. End it with a star. Thank you. And there is the blue mushroom house. So let's obtain our secret item. Hello, you found my shop of strange and wonderful things. Open it up, and it's another pea wing. Now let's continue on to the very last level of this game, other than the uh, airship, of course. Now we're back to the basics with just a regular level, no water. But this is the kind of a strange particular one. There's lots of different pipes here. It's full of danger. I believe there is quite a few cannons. Right on cue. No, he's stuck to me. Get off of me, you. Damn you. Hate those little things. And our very first level where we get to see bow bombs. Now, at this point, I right at the very bottom here, right where I'm standing. If you really want, you can actually kind of get an infinite amount of lives here. If you have a turtle shell, you can get all those little Goombas to kind of gather down here, and you can get some shells and get some uh, one-ups with this. Now, if we come down here, we can actually open up this little area here if that bomb doesn't want to kick around too much on me, which it did, unfortunately. So I'm just going to try that again here. Now, unfortunately, like, unlike Super Mario World, this game's a little bit more unforgiving when you mess up on a stage. Instead of being able to start at the very middle of the stage where you last were, you have to start from the very beginning. That was cheap. That was so very cheap. Round three! Get off of me. There we go. Hey, come on. Oh, what the hell? Patience, patience, man. Patience, patience, pie. You can do it. I don't want to use an item. This stage is too easy to use an item. Alright, attempt number four with this stage. Wow, I'm surprised I didn't die at that point right there. I wish they had more power-ups in this level. That would actually be very nice to have right now. I don't think I'm close enough. Temp number five. See how many more attempts I'll need. I'm hoping not too many. Let's just cruise by this stupid part. Get you. What the hell? What the hell? I admit that was a new way to die. Also, something else I should note as well too. If you lose all your lives in this game, 
you'll actually have to start from the very beginning. Unlike Super Mario World where it has save points, this game was a little bit early in its time to actually have save points. Get off of me. Thank you. So if you're playing this on the original Nintendo Entertainment System, the Game Boy Advance one brought in the Save Peach feature, but this one unfortunately does not have that. Not many games for the Nintendo Entertainment System actually had save features. And you know what? I'm going to be using an item, because this is just plain ridiculous. Let's just use a mushroom, shall we? I'm getting pissed off. That's right, I'm not using save states. Not using uh, the back button. Not using any of that stuff. Just have to be very cautious, very careful. What the hell? All I want to do is go down through here. Oh, that doesn't even work. I guess you have to have the raccoon tail to open that portal up, not the bow bombs. Which is unfortunate, but I think we can get down there either way. We can just take the shortcut down there. Luckily, I just got back some of the men I just lost. Power up, power up, come back here, please. Oh. Now this particular level I've noticed uses lots of these stupid ice blocks. There's one particular world as well, too, that will definitely be using a lot of these ice blocks. Wanna get that? Very nice. Excuse me, please. Now this particular world has a secret. If you go all the way to the very end, you can get yourself a frog suit. Luckily, we're past that stupid bullshit part. But at least now that we know that only the raccoon tail can open up that doorway. Don't hit me. Thank you. We go all the way to the very end here. This is where our first little uh, question mark block of the game, the larger question mark blocks of the game, which are hidden with secret powers. We'll be seeing a lot of that much later on too when we start finding the Tanuki suits. Now we had to time our jump there, but that's alright. We can just easily go back here, it doesn't take too long. We just have to be very careful when we approach that different area. We just have to move quickly to the right. So let's try that again, shall we? Float over here. Don't let Cheapy hit you and don't fall down the hole, because otherwise we'll have to start this game over. Or this level over, rather. And now we've got a frog suit. Sometimes those blocks will hide as well, um, will be three one-ups, so you can get that as well in those blocks too. Alright, it's time to leave. Damn you, dead end. Time to leave this stage behind and finish off this level. I'm gonna try and see if I can beat the, uh, the airship with this suit on. I highly doubt that I'll be able to, but it'll be worth a try. Just so I can show off that hidden message. But of course, before we go, we've got to do the end spade. Let's see if I remember. Nope. Nope. Now let's go through here. Once again, it's been timed. And we'll help out this castle. And he's been turned into one of those spitty ball things. I don't really know what they're called. I believe also in the Game Boy Advance version you can skip past that whole text there. And I guess I was wrong about the fortress changing colors because this one still remains the same. Now this suit is much like the uh, other suits that we've gotten in the game. If we lose it then we'll just become Big Mario. I can't believe I've lost it that fast, but that's alright. Perhaps there'll be another time when I can show off the secret message by the king that says, Hey, I want your suit. That's what he pretty much says, is he wants our suit. Now we can also go up there if we only wanted to, up the very top, and kind of skip over this whole stage if we really wanted to. Now this is the stage of the airship fortress is that introduces this corkscrew device that was reintroduced in the new Super Mario Bros. Wii game for the well, for the Wii. However, if you have more than, you know, one player, it's going to be a little bit more annoying. You can actually shortcut over top as I just did in that particular area, and we can just squish these moles over and over and over again if we really wanted to. Now, I believe this one might have a question mark at the end? No. I don't think that starts until the next world. 
Now this is Wendy. What she's going to do is, as you can see, her area is flat, but she's going to have these rings constantly bouncing around the stage. Now I want to get rid of her before we touch it! Now this is the perfect opportunity that shows that the airship can move around at will during the stages. This can be very annoying. It's a good thing that bridge is closed, because as you can see, now we can reapproach the airship. So I'm going to try that level again when I come back, so I'll catch you guys later. See ya!